Okay, and next up we have the Street Fighter boss expansion. So this is the main expansion uh, with the Street Fighter game that includes the two bosses, Bison and Akuma. So, and you can see the wonderful boss uh, art for the game, for box art. So I pre-opened up the cellophane here, and as you can see, it comes with its own rule book. So again, beautiful Street Fighter art. And then you get a sense of what the game is supposed to look like on your table. You have an introduction. And you have your game components. So this is obviously just coming with the two boss characters, but they do come with their own boss mode. So now you'll get two decks of cards each for each fighter. One is the regular uh, deck to play as uh, Akuma and Bison, and then they have their special kind of souped up boss deck that you could have three people versus the one boss. So they show you the, the boss mode. And this is not a, a big rule book either. Then you have a the nemesis mode. So some of these modes I'm gonna have to read up on. Uh, I don't remember a lot of what some of the modes are, so I'd have to read up and uh, find out what they, what how they how they play. And then you have your uh, stage diagrams here to show you how to set up uh, for these maps in particular for this uh, expansion. And it's a double-sided map. And then they show you how to build your uh, terrain, build your game. And you can see there'll be tables, there'll be a chicken coop. So we'll get to that, the chicken crates, a uh, little hot dog, uh, chicken vendor, I guess. It, it's kind of based on chun Li stage. And here you see the different expansions that are in the Street Fighter game. So if you missed out, uh, and hopefully you didn't, these are the different expansions. They might be harder to get. Um, it's probably best that if you are interested, you go to Jasco Games uh, online and they would probably help you out. They probably have a lot of the expansions uh, still up for sale. You're going to probably pay more than your what you paid at Kickstarter, but they are there uh, to purchase. And especially now that they're having problems with uh, Europe and the VAT uh, taxes and shipping. Okay, so then we get, next we get to the terrain. So we have uh, Akuma's uh, stage with the dark trees and the uh, chicken crates on the bottom. And then you have some rocks here you put together. And oh, there's another one here underneath. Yep, so just the same, double-sided. And these are punch boards, so they, they'll come out pretty easily. I can already feel them. Starting to come out easy. And here is the table and the chicken cart here, vendor cart. Oh, that's pretty nice. Uh, some of this terrain might be a little, little detailed to put together, so you might need super glue, I, I hear, to put some of this stuff together. And you have the map, uh, expansion map here for the set. See how this folds out. Okay, just like that. So this is, uh, I believe, Akuma's stage in the video game. And um, a lot of people are complaining that the maps don't sit flat on the table. But again, I assume once you give it, once you play a little more, then it'll probably flatten out a little more. And then you on the back you have Chun Li stage. So these are nice, good, decent sized maps. And it feels feels nice. It feels a good material board. And so this is Chun, Chun Li stage in the video game. Oh, it just flips back nice together. And now we have the miniatures. So I take this out here, hopefully nice and easy. So this is Akuma. And you can just see the detail. I don't know if you can see his eyes. It looks fierce. And look at just the nice details. Some of this though, you might have to be careful with a lot of this because it feels maybe a little uh, delicate, I guess. So just be careful when taking your guys in and out. I'm not sure how how I will uh, store these, but uh, might, you just have to be careful putting taking them in and out of the box. So that's Akuma. 
And then you have uh, the next boss here in the set, Bison. There's a nice dynamic pose, ready to take over the world. You have this dark cycle power on the bottom there. Nice flowing cape. I know some guys, they thought they might add washes to the capes and some of the other characters, but I think I'm just happy with the way they are, probably. So That's M. Bison. We've got Akuma. I'm going to sit back nicely in here. There we go. Okay, and then they have their own special dial. So here's Akuma's boss dial. It'll be the same as the other dials, uh, except actually the boss dials go up to 40 health points. So if you can see that, 40 life points that they have. And then, uh, again, still the uh, the ultra meters are still... Uh, they only could go up to 8, but again, they go up to... They have them up to 12. So they have Akuma's. And then they have Bison's, so that's pretty cool. They have their, their own uh, their own meters, their own trackers. And then they have uh, the boss challenge deck. So I believe you, you shuffle these into whatever boss you're playing with, and it adds uh, maybe a harder mode. I'd have to read up on how to play with the boss challenges. And then you have M. Bison, this, and you can tell by his health that he's a boss because he has 40 health as opposed to the regular Bison that you'll probably see after has like a lower health. And so he moves forward and there's his ultra listed. And then all the back of the cards are uh, have this nice Street Fighter logo on the back. Uh, here's Akuma, so we can tell this is his regular fighting deck. So he has a health of 22. Here is Bison's regular fighting deck. So you can see Bison has a move, 20, move of 3 and a health of 25 as opposed to Akuma, who has a move of 3 and a health of 22. And then here is Akuma's, uh, Akuma's boss deck. So you can see the healths are, dif are different. So very, very cool. This is pretty much the boss expansion. The only thing uh, I probably can have a complaint with is this, there's a lot of space in the box that they didn't really take advantage of probably. Like it's just the two characters and then a lot of empty space. So that's uh, probably a complaint that other people had. Um, so I don't know, we have to maybe, I might have to figure out, maybe I could store the stuff underneath. I'm not sure, I'll have to figure something out with that. But this is pretty much the boss expansion for Street Fighter. Okay, so the next box we're going to look at is the stretch goals. Now these were the free things you got for pledging to the Street Fighter game. Um, so if you were purchasing the, uh, I believe it's the base game with the boss expansion, you were getting the stretch goals for free. I believe that's how it worked. So let's open this up. You can see a lot of different fighters on here. Alright, so here you can see you got a leaflet with some different rules for the car bonus stage and as well they also, this, yes, so this sticker goes along with the car bonus stage. Um, so what happened is uh, you'll, you'll have uh, some punch boards and say for like this side, um, if you have the actual punch board, um, when it flips over to the damage side, it was going over to this side and not staying on this side. So they corrected it by, you know, print, you could print, they printed out these stickers here and then you're going to have to put it uh, on as best as you can to correct the, the side. But I think it's just mainly the left, the, the right side and the left side. I believe the center is the center is pretty much still. So, but you got a leaflet here showing you the car bonus stage. You got a boxer rules variant, a bonus classics mode stage where it's just a... Uh, classic uh, Street Fighter one-on-one -on -one matchup and then you have the Capcom Cup tournament rules that you can run if you have you know as many players as you want and then also they show you how to build the arcade cabinet which was also a bonus extra that's a terrain object that you could put uh, on the battlefield playing the game that's kind of cool 
Okay, so now we have the miniatures here, and they, these miniatures are just very, very well done. I know Joe, Angry Joe, was paying attention to the detail of a lot of this stuff, so he wanted to make sure everything is coming out perfect for everybody, and I have no complaints so far. So the first thing I'll try and pull out here is the Capcom Cup, if it wants to come out. Here we go. So this is, uh, this is, uh, designed after the actual uh cup that you win when you uh you play in a street fighter tournament i guess that uh, uh what's that uh, video game tournament that they have evo i think so that's the capcom cup and the next fighter we have here i'll try and pull it nice and easy there's violent ken uh, you can see nice eye details, and he has a lot of the purple. He has the dark, the dark Hadou flowing through him. And he has his own deck, so he doesn't use the Ken deck. He has his own uh, deck, because I guess he's kind of like possessed with the dark Hadou. And you can see his nice, uh, his nice terrain. Each fighter has their own terrain, which is very, very cool. Uh, next guy we'll look at is Big T Hawk. Hopefully, it kind of comes out nice and easy. There we go. Look at this guy. He's nice and big, as he should be. He's one of the bigger characters in the game. You can see his nice face detail. And you can see maybe there's like a slight, I guess, crack here on his bottom kind of thing. Uh, so maybe that's uh, minor, minor uh, manufacturing uh, flaw, but overall, it's still he's still a nice character. Looks great. Put him back. Okay, and then we next we have Mike Tyson of the game. Is Balrog? And you see his base, crazy buffalo. You can see his gloves. They have the writing on his gloves and everything. Wouldn't want to get hit by that left uppercut that he's throwing. And then look at his the detail on his belt. It says champion. And this is just a really, really nice figure. He just looks awesome. And he was obviously designed after Mike Tyson. As a matter of fact, they, they kind of named M. Bison. Kind of, they changed his name because they didn't want any copyright issues. All right, we go to the next character here. Let's pull him out is E Honda. And I'm afraid to take out some of these guys. That's the way they are packed in here. Okay, so we'll just go to the next character. I'll try and figure out how to get out E Honda. This is Cami. So she's one of the more popular fighters in the game. You can see the little detailed triangle on her on her beret. If you could focus in on that. So even they got that. The little whatever heart I guess she has on her uniform. So again, she's one of the more popular fighters in the game. So Cam Cammy. And next we have another popular character. Here's Guile. So this is nice, and he has his nice Air Force logo, and he has the American flags tattooed on his on his uh, upper shoulders. Very, very cool guy. He's throwing his sonic boom. And uh, Joe was making sure that he looked good. He didn't want him to have a derpy face. And he looks pretty cool. All right, next we have another cool character. Here is DJ. So again, he's throwing a nice little uppercut in the air. He's got his little maracas on the ground, he's got it in the sand, and he looks great. And even just the writing on the side of his pants, they got the full maximum, you could read what it says. And he looks just, he's just a cool guy. So that's DJ. All right, next we got, we got Evil Ryu. So, you can see his face there. It's a, it's 
thighs aren't looking too good. He, I guess he's supposed to look like he's kind of possessed by the dark Hadou. And you can see he has uh, the, flint, the hole in his chest that they did. They, Joe made sure to get a three-ping operation of colors on that. So very cool. You can see his gi, his belt. Very, very nice. And the state is uh, terrain there on the stage is washed. The gloves, the detail, just really, really awesome character. That's Evil Ryu. Yeah, I just hope. Like, I don't know. I might, I might keep out some of these guys because it's gonna be. It's hard to put them back into their places sometimes, and you don't want to break any of the uh, effects on them. Okay, so there's another boss guy. This is Goken. This is Ryu's teacher. So he looks pretty cool. And he was one of the, actually a character um, that Joe did effects for. Uh, one of the last uh, effects that he's able to do. See, so you have to be careful with some of these guys because a little bit flimsy with their effects. So just be careful taking them in and out of the package. I'm going to try with E-Honda again, see if he wants to come out. There we go. There is E-Honda doing his, his 100 hands, 1,000 hand slaps that he does. And then he's got his nice bathhouse terrain, his stage. And the effects are really nice. So you can see like the nice transparency. Uh, very, very well done. You can see up his robe even if he wanted to. They painted all that, so that's awesome. The nice face paint, the expression on his face. It just He's a, a really, really good character, actually. He did him really well. So that's E Honda, looking really good. All right, so I'll take this off here. All right, so now we come to the maps that we're giving out. A stretch goal so you have the uh, two-player stage uh, let's see where this opens up all right so this is a stage here where you could have a the traditional Street Fighter uh, one versus one um, apparently I've, I've heard that it's pretty uh, tight fighting for this stage so that's pretty cool it's a kind of it gives you another dynamic to play the game which is pretty cool, keeps it fresh. Um, so this is, I believe, Ken and, uh, Ken's stage and Ryu's stage, I believe in the game. And I guess they have a little Easter egg of Capcom on the boat. So very cool, you can have a nice one-on-one -on -one fight. And next we have the, the arcade cabinet terrain to put together. So very cool. They have a little Street Fighter uh, logo on the side of the, the cabinet. And I guess here's the game arcade screen. So very cool. That was one of the extra stretch goals. Surprise stretch goals. All right. And then we have the uh, car bonus stage here. Okay, so that's this is where your stickers will come in. Um, I think there's more pieces to it here, um, but this is the uh, this is the base board of it, and it's just the one side. So that's when the car is damaged and you de destroyed the car altogether. Okay, and we have Goken. He has a, he's a boss as well, so you actually have three bosses that come with this game. So as part of the stretch goals, he's his own boss with his own dials for life points and uh, meter. Okay, and then here are the uh, cards for the, uh, the bonus car stage to fight with. So these, this is where your stickers are going to go onto the backs of one of the uh, some of these cards here to fix them up. So when you flip them over, then they'll go to the proper side of where they should be. So that's that for the car bonus stage. Okay, and then we uh, we have 
from Fighter. So here is Gokin's, I guess, boss uh, challenge deck. Cards to go into his uh, uh, his boss challenge his boss deck. And we have Violent Ken. So you're gonna have all the you're gonna have 40 card decks for each character in this. You have uh, Fei Long, aka Bruce Lee. You have Guile. You have T Hawk. So all these cards, I plan on sleeving all these cards for this because. This, you know, you pay an investment into the game. It's a, a lot of cards in this game, so you want to keep them nice. And you got DJ. So you see with all the different guys, they have uh, their their moves are different, their movement, their health. So you can even see the difference between E Honda and DJ. And we have Evil Ryu. It's also a little lower than some of the characters, kind of like a glass cannon. And then we have Blanca, we have Cami. So, I mean, we could get through, uh, I, I mean, I could open up one of the, the decks, but um, you're kind of getting to just anyways, it's a lot to go through. A lot of Easter eggs, apparently, within the cards, the different card, there's a lot of different card art for the game. So then you have Gokin, so people are confused. Oh, I got two Gokin decks. Well, one is his boss deck. It shows him at 45 health, and his other is his regular playing deck, which shows you that his health is 25. So you have two decks for Gokin, and then Balrog. So very, very cool. And then there's four more miniatures in here that I want to show. So the first one, I can get them out. So here is Blanca. So... Doesn't look too bad. I don't know a lot of people were um, didn't like his face or his hair or the type of green he was, but I think he looks pretty. He is a bright green in the Street Fighter game, so doesn't look too bad. You know, maybe they could have done better with his face or given him a, a wash in his in his body to show the the green off better, maybe. But well, he doesn't look too bad. It's not the best character, but he, he's not. He's not bad either, though. And we got Yoga Fire, Yoga Flame. We got Dalton. Look at this guy. Look at his look at his feet here. That's incredible. The, the jobs they did on these guys are just amazing. Very very cool character to play. And then next, we have one of my favorites, even though I don't know how to use them properly in the actual Street Fighter game. So, I don't know if you can tell who this guy is based on, but look at, look at I mean, look at even his, his terrain stage. Very, very nice. Throwing a nice flying sidekick. If you don't know who this guy is based on, I'm not sure what planet you live on. So very, very, very nice character. I'll be using him a lot, probably. These guys come in properly. And then the last character in this box we have is uh, Bison Kami. So she was the uh, uh, an extra character that they threw in. She actually doesn't have her own set of cards. She's just a, an alternate uh, sculpt to play as with your Kami deck, or you could use her with the Bison deck as well. So, uh, and if you're really keen, you could go to someplace like Board Game Geek, I believe, and they've made their own uh, Kami, Bison Kami deck that you could print off and use for her as well. So, that's very cool. The community does a lot of stuff for the game, and she's very cool. I just wish maybe they would have invested maybe uh, into another character that you could actually play with, with their own deck, but maybe funds were not there for them. So, but still very cool. And then her, also her lore is she was made because uh, Joe, I guess, maybe liked that there was an alternate uh, costume. So it's not necessarily in the actual Street Fighter fiction that she's a, a Bison Kami. It's more for, she was an alternate costume in one of the Street Fighter games. So just so you know where her history comes from. 
Okay, so next we have in the line of expansion characters, we have the Street Fighter Alpha Warrior's Dream expansion box. So you can see they have the four characters silhouettes of who you're getting in this box. And we open it up. So this is very cool. A protective casing. So you have four fighters. You have Armika. So she has, comes with her 40 card deck. You have Dan. You have Karen, and you have Sakura. So all uh, four are there, 40 card decks are there, and then you have the actual characters. So I'm going to take out our Mika first, Rainbow Mika. Okay, so the first character we have is Rainbow Mika from this set. So she is a wrestler, and here she you can see she's got she's on the microphone cutting a promo. And you can see on her base, you got some Hama Japan women's wrestling. So she's the champ in her league. That's Rainbow Micah. We have Dan. Very cool. He comes with his little sign, Dan's Dojo Lessons. They were uh hundred dollars now they're five dollars he's giving you a big discount so you can come learn his style of fighting so very very cool nice detailed base it's pink gi and he's shooting his little small fireball that he has and next we have karen so she's like the kind of like a rich snooty uh, girl that always wants to fight with sakura that's her rival and she has a nice colored base that I really like too that they did. So it, it comes and it it's, uh, comes off really nice and colorful, bright. Very very cool character. And then last, one of the probably the more powerful fighter in the set here is Sakura. That's Ryu's uh, student. She wanted to learn from Ryu. And she comes with her little school backpack on the on the ground here. She's got her own little. Uh, her own little uh, effects going on with her so very 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 cool character and really powerful character in the street fighter universe so this is the street fighter alpha set okay next we have the street fighter third strike fight for the future and they show you the four silhouettes in this box this expansion so, so in this one you're getting uh for fighters, obviously, you get uh, Makoto and her deck. You get Alex. You get uh, Q. He's a very, very cool, cool character. And you get Ibuki and Don Chan once you see his her base. So pretty cool. Okay, so we have first we have uh, Makoto. So she's like a Japanese fighter. And then she's got her rock and her Zen garden kind of deal happening, which is very cool. A powerful fighter. And we have another powerful fighter here, an Alex. Uh, I don't know if his face is the greatest, but he's definitely a decent sized character. And he's got his cinder blocks and his special cans that he has there on the ground. So very, very cool detail. Next we have Q. So another cool character that people like and you can see the different shading on his jacket even. And I guess he's, Q is probably a, a what do you call it? A variant of like the question from DC Comics. You can even see there's newspaper print on his base, which is very, very cool. So that's Q. And then you have probably the most, uh, from what I hear, the most expensive character that they had to make in this game, and that's Abuki with Don Chan. Very, very cool character. She's on top of a roof. So you can see, and she's shooting out her ninja, ninja darts. Very, very cool. Very, very unique character. 
So that is this set here. I think even for this set, just for her alone, is worth the price probably. So. Okay, the next expansion we have is the Street Fighter 4 expansion. So here's the four fighters you get with this expansion. So pull it out. And so far guys, I am impressed with just everything I've gotten so far. Very, very cool. Nothing's been broken, thank the Lord. So first off, we have, we have Cody's Fighter Deck. We have Crimson Viper. And we have Guy. So this is almost Guy and Cody are from another video franchise called Final Fight, if you know. And Jury. Very powerful fighter in this game as well. So we'll go to their uh, miniatures. Okay, so the first miniature we have in this set here is Cody. So he's from the Final Fight series as well. You might know him from that. And apparently his uh, prison stripes are actually pretty hard to do, but they pulled off pretty good, I think. He looks not too bad. So we have Cody. Next we have Crimson Viper. So very, very cool character. You can even see she has her glasses even that they did. So very, very cool. The fire effect from her kick. A nice sign on her base. So you have Crimson Viper. And next we have Guy from Final Fight series as well. And he's throwing his spin kick. So that's pretty cool. And you see the wind coming around on that kick. You don't want to get hit with that. So pretty cool character. And the last one in the set is Jury. It's another cool character. Even they have the spider design on her back even. So that's a pretty cool in her base. So very, very cool character. And that is the Street Fighter 4 expansion. Okay, and then the last expansion that we have for the Street Fighter series here is Street Fighter 5. So we have the four characters for that. So first we have Laura's deck. Then we have Rashid. We have uh, Akali. So a lot of these characters I'm not too familiar with because I've never played Street Fighter V. But, and the last character, Nash. He's probably the only one that I know from this series here. So very, very cool. So first off, we have Laura. So this was a character, she, they made sure to get her face right. I think they had her face looking like a blow-up doll initially, but they fixed that. And you can see her nice uh, uh, her terrain on her, her stage. Uh, so that looks very good, Laura. Next we have Rashid. It's a very cool character. He's got his eyepiece in even that they did, very cool. And then he's on top of a plane. So that's a, sometimes people are wondering what is he standing on? This is supposed to be like a plane top that he's standing on. And then we have Nikali, very powerful character. And you can see his uh, base, he has like the kind of the Aztec kind of design. So another cool character, very powerful in the game. And last but not least, we have Nash. Charlie Nash, and this is very, very cool, these effects here. This, they've done this really, really good. Another guy with his own special glasses, if you could focus there. Oh, very, very cool. So yeah, so that is the Street Fighter V expansion set. Okay, last not last, last but not least, we have the Street Fighter map pack. Now this was the an additional expansion you could buy to add uh, more variety to your maps to the game. So you open it up and you can see they have, um, I guess they have some bases for some stands here that they give you, and they have the little leaflet again for how to assemble, I guess, the terrain for these stages. 
So they have like dolls, uh, sorry, e Honda stage. You have Vega, the La Vega stage. Um, no, sorry, the Vega stage is Balrog. And you have the Flamenco Tavern, that's Vega stage. And last, you have Maharaj Palace, Dollism stage with the elephants. And then they show you how the terrains go together, so that's pretty cool. So this will take me time to put all that stuff together and the elephants at the back and here so now we have the uh, terrain pieces to put together so this a lot of this stuff looks like it's for uh, Balrog and Vegas stage combined and they're obviously double-sided art some more of Balrog and Vegas stage we have some trees, the palm trees. And we have elephants for dollism stage. More trees. Elephants. More elephants. You got a lot of elephants in this one. Okay, and then oh, another terrain cutout here. See, that's coming out so nice. That's what you like to see when you have your, uh, your punch boards. Okay, and then they actually get to the actual stage. So there's going to be four stages, two, uh, two per per map. Taking a little time, sorry, a little time to unfold it here. So here we have the flamenco stage for Vega. That's pretty cool. And then on the reverse. We have Balrog's stage in Vegas, so that's pretty cool. You get to fight on with different terrain in these stages, to, as opposed to the core and boss expansion. And then the last one in here will be Dollism and probably E Honda's bathhouse. So here's Dollism stage. So again, when you're probably playing this a few times, it'll start probably the maps will start will probably start to flatten out. And then we have E Honda's bathhouse. So yeah, so that is the Street Fighter miniatures game. All the things that have come with the Kickstarter, I had gotten pretty much everything with the Kickstarter, and I am not disappointed i'm so thankful that the miniatures came undamaged nicely packed and i just want to say a thank you to jasco to angry joe and capcom and all the others who uh put their uh put their time into making this game and i just i i just want to say too i feel bad for the guys in europe that are having problems with the vat and the shipping charges and uh, hopefully there's a solution for both sides that can make these people happy and um, I just want to say thank you again I'm glad everything came safe and I really really look forward to playing this game and also getting uh, into the new Mortal Kombat Kickstarter when that comes out hopefully later this month in April of 2021 so uh, thanks again for watching, and I, I, pre I appreciate if you watched the video, and uh, thanks again if you have any comments or want to drop a line about this game, feel free to do so, and uh, hopefully we'll see you soon in another video. So thanks again for watching, and see you soon.